Somehow, some way, Alex Ariza is connected to all the happening fighters, um, either past or present. They're talking about making a possible Mayweather versus Khan fight. We all know you worked with Khan in, in the past as well. What do you think of that matchup? You know, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a really good, it's an interesting fight. It's going because you're talking about two guys with, with uh, tremendous amount of speed. Um, but right now, watching Floyd, to be honest with you, I just, I don't see anybody beating him right now. He just, uh, he's too sharp. He, he looks, he looked great against Canelo. Uh, I mean, he looks, the, I thought he looked his best, to be honest with you. Um, I just don't, uh, you know, with, 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 it, for me, Amir, everything for Amir's success has always been his, his, his physical abilities to overwhelm and be stronger than his opponents. I just haven't seen that, you know, in his last few fights. So, um, but uh, I think it, 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 he's very capable of, of making it a, a good fight for Floyd. But uh, unless, you know, he comes in completely different than he has the other the other fights, I, I just, it's just hard for me to go any other way but with, with Floyd. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, that audio clip that I posted for you guys was an interview, an exclusive interview that I did with Alex Ariza. Shout out to Ariza for giving me some of his time. I posted that on the channel, for those of you who remember, probably six to eight months ago. And the reason I brought it up is because there is something, a picture that was released today via courtesy of uh, Floyd Mayweather. Got a lot of people talking. So I figured I'd give my takes on it, the ego thoughts on it. And it's Alex Ariza, and he's just simply stretching with Floyd Mayweather. Now, Floyd Mayweather and Alex Ariza, you know what I mean? I didn't see this coming, personally. Alex Ariza, however, like I said, that, that clip that I did was an interview I did about six to eight months ago with Ariza. He's always given, at least towards me, um, props to Floyd Mayweather. He, he said it himself. You guys heard it. I don't see anyone beating Mayweather at, the, at this point. Um... Now, the picture with Mayweather, like I said, it is a shocker for the simple fact that Mayweather accused Pacquiao pretty much of, of juicing. Um, he implied it, I guess you could say, and requested the random drug testing when the fight talks were uh, Mayweather versus Pacquiao a couple years ago, 2008 or whatever. And now he's doing some, some level of work. I don't, I got to get clarification on this. I don't think Alex Ariza is part of his camp. So I don't know how this came into fruition. I have to do some research as far as that. Um, could have been merely two professionals in the same place, same time. But it got a lot of people curious. Mayweather has not been um, one to shy away from controversy. Um, he looks for these ways to build excitement. I mean, look at the Amir Khan Maidana poll. I'm going to let my fans decide who I fight next. And then Khan won and didn't get to fight. And my Maidana... Maidana got the fight. So you never know with Mayweather. You don't know if it's a ploy. It's a marketing plot. He's a very smart businessman. He has the right people on his team. Al Heyman, uh, LRB. It works for him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if this was something just to, to kind of gloat because Alex Ariza is no longer working with Robert Garcia, who is training Mayweather's next opponent, Marcos Maidana. So Alex Ariza, last training camp, um, was working with Marcos Maidana in, in the Robert Garcia gym. So I don't know if this is a bit of mind games. And those same mind games were played kind of by Robert Garcia. Robert Garcia had his fighter, Brandon Real, scheduled to fight Pacquiao. And Team Pacquiao was no longer working with Alex Ariza. He got booted from Team Pacquiao's training camp or whatever. And then Garcia picked him up. So now Garcia is no longer using him for whatever reason. Mayweather picked up. Alex Ariza, or I don't know if he picked him up as in terms of this is his ongoing strength and conditioning coach, but he posted this picture. So it could be a little bit of mind games, a little bit of mind fuckery on that regard. He might be using him. I have to do some more research. So uh, let me get to the bottom of that. I'll let you know if I have any kind of updates. As far as Alex Ariza, he was cool to me. He was down to earth dude, very candid. Um, he's worked with pretty much everybody from Pacquiao to Khan to um, Marcos Maidana, Mikey Garcia. Now it looks like he's getting some work in with Mayweather. So I don't know the the root cause of this. I don't know if Mayweather solicited Alex Ariza or if they're both in Vegas and and you know what I mean made it happen. He was just stretching him. So it's I think it's it's kind of Mayweather's way of getting people to talk, build excitement, 
trying to push those numbers and and it's working because i'm making a video i have a good amount of subscribers and whatever and other people are talking it some people requested for me to do this video etc so that audio clip it wasn't from recently it's from about eight months ago so make sure if you want to hear that check out my channel the video is still up in terms of that now me as a boxing fan a longtime fan of the sport i do not condone cheating i don't i think it's pussy if you have to cheat in order to beat somebody it's not fair you know what i mean everyone should be on an even playing field um there's been a lot of suspicious characters in boxing conte alex ariza different guys that have this black cloud you know what i mean the mimo heredias uh mimo heredia and everybody and they have this shady past and people don't really know if they can trust them and they've been linked to steroids in some shape or fashion so i don't know the deal with alex ariza but again i don't condone cheating i think it's bullshit it's very ironic that mayweather is even using him or taking pictures with him and stuff in that fashion as if he's using him based on how he called pacquiao out um i will say this as much as i hate cheating and cheaters in general i i'm impressed with the guys that quote unquote have this shady past in the sport of boxing these motherfuckers are hustlers they they really know how to navigate and finagle little situations like if you really think about what they do i mean alex ariza it, let's say he is involved in some shady business or whatever this dude went from pacquiao and working with khan to working with robert garcia's good stable of fighters you know what i mean the rios is and uh, mikey garcia's maidana's to possibly maybe even working with mayweather so these dudes get around like tupac you know what i'm saying the the heredias and, and shit and they bounce from camp to camp and it, it's crazy if you think about it if you put it in any other situation other than really boxing like if 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 i was a worker and i worked at jc penny's and i got fired for stealing and then i get a job at macy's and then i get fired from macy's for stealing and then i get another job at sears and then i get fired for sears for something and that's like me bouncing around from camp to camp with this shady past these things these these knocks on my resume so to speak and I'm still getting picked up. So these motherfuckers know how to hustle and get in where they fit in. And you know what I mean? That's crazy to me. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Mayweather's working with him? Do you think he's a hypocrite? Do you think it's a publicity stunt, mind games? What do you guys think? Make sure you like the video. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. <laughs>